Hello and welcome to the Global Fashion Workshop. I remind you that we release a new video three times a week. Today we're going to make a summer tunic for the beach. Why did I decide to make a tunic? Where did it all start? I had this gorgeous silk piece of fabric. Something like a scarf. I don't know. Here it is. This is a summer mint silk with a vase picture. And I thought, what could I do with it? I can hang it on the wall, but who would look at it? Or should I wear it around my neck? I've got a lot of handkerchiefs. It's too big for my neck anyways. So how can I use it? Maybe I can make a tunic top? I don't think I'll wear it. Then I took it and folded it in half. I'll show you how exactly I folded it in half. And as a result, I came up with this sketch. If you place it this way, basically we'll have a tunic to the end of the knee. Here are little flowers on the front. And this vase on the very top on the back. This will be the front side, and this will be the back side. The tunic will consist of only one piece. Let's look at the sketch and discuss it. In one video, we'll do it all, discussing the sketch, cutting, basting, and fitting. So look here. I folded the fabric in half. I've got the fold and the shoulders. The back will be cut out a little bit, and the front side's cut is quite deep. I'm going to measure and write it down how much I got here. The seam will start 5 centimeters below an armhole level and go almost to the beginning of the hip. Nothing was stitched all the way on the sides, and it will swing like this. I was thinking, it's too boring to have everything straight here in front. I want to do a slit on the front. Consequently, I'm going to cut right here. When I'll cut it all, measure and draw the lines, you'll see how it's all going to look. It's going to be a one-piece tunic. We will cut the neckline first. Find the place where we will make these stitches and cut down the front center, where the flowers are. And I will get a cute, fun tunic like this. If we find pale terracotta laces and sew it all around, it will be very festive. Otherwise, the girls will finish it with a rolled hem. It is just a beach tunic. We don't need a French hem on it. Or you can make a rolled hem and sew on some narrow lace. Anyway, first we will start with the drafting. The measurement for the bust circumference is about 118 centimeters or 120 centimeters. It doesn't really matter. It must be wide and loose. Here's my back, where the vase is. And now I have to fold it in four layers. I'll be ready for the beach season. I have a tunic from last year, of course, but I'll make one more. It is rather a tunic dress with a lining. Here is the back center. From the center, I measure 11.5 centimeters, plus I'll take 0.7 centimeters for the seam, so that my neckline will be wider. I've got 11.5 centimeters, and you can put as much as you want. I measure 3 centimeters from the top. I need to know where my seventh vertebrae is. I've got it here. Next, I measure 40 centimeters down. That's my back length. And 20 centimeters for my supporting line. It's called the bust line. 
I measured about 17 centimeters down from the waistline, where we had 40 centimeters. Now, a fourth of the bust circumference plus more for ease. I've got 30 centimeters, and then I'll take 32. 30 centimeters plus 2 centimeters for the ease. I'll take 32 centimeters for the hips. That's a lot for me. I'll take a little more and make a curved line. We cannot curve it too much. Look here. It's the bust line. I will start the stitch a little bit lower. I measured down about 5 centimeters. Look, from point 0.3 to point 0.40 is my back length. Take a half of it and 5 centimeters down. I'll start to stitch from here. I'll go below the hip line 8 centimeters, for example. Do as you like. Now I'll show you the line where I'm going to stitch. From here to here. Do you see it? And now I'm going to pin it and transfer to the other side. I've read so much about Mother of Pearls. What a magical stone. Well, it's not a stone, it's organic, of course. Well, anyway, it is good to wear the mother of pearl, it brings good energy. Do you see how cute it is? We got it as a present from Tanishka from Feodosia. And we like it so much. This is the line we need to transfer to the other side. The most important thing is that our torso should fit into this size. You don't have to try to make everything fit. Now I have my line on both sides. I don't want to cut out 3 centimeters on the neck. I'll cut about 2 centimeters. Now I will take the pins off. I will cut the neckline in the front and the center front. The most important thing is not to overdo it and expose our chest too much. I will not be too worried though if something doesn't go as planned. Here's the back. If I show you a one-piece sleeve or a one-piece tunic top or something simple like that, I don't want to say that I've shown it better than everyone else. I just explain it as I understand it. How to approach the fabric and how to construct it correctly. Look, here I pin to hold everything in place. Here's the neckline. Now I have to fold this front part here to get an even neck edge on both sides. And please, never put pins in your mouth like I do.
Here, I folded the front. It doesn't take a long time. Now, this will be the base of the neck, about 8 centimeters from the top. From here, I will take about 14 centimeters down. I'll take 19 centimeters down from the beginning of the fabric. Take a look at me and decide for yourself how deep you want your neckline to be. It's 19 centimeters here. Life is short, we have to show ourselves to the world. Look at what we have. Unfortunately, I have to cut these flowers off, there's no way around it. That's it. Now I have to cut it open in the middle. It actually takes a few minutes. We have to take some from the front for the seam allowance. I'll show you what we need to do on the back. So these points will be the same distance from the center front to the center back. It's awesome. I didn't measure exactly the slit I left in the front. I'll see if I want to make it higher or lower. I will see what I want when I try it on, and I'll put a marker right there. I'm basting the center front one centimeter from the edge. I definitely will try to find some good lace and sew it all around. It will cheer me up. In the center front, I'm basting it to the end of the neckline. I could not cut it on the center front, but I want to make some sort of slit in the center. Otherwise, it would be too boring. I'm going to unfold it and show you what it means, a one-piece garment. I'll wear it and you'll see how chic I'll be. Now, while everything is folded perfectly at the top, here we need to make a one centimeter pin tuck. So, the back is not wider at this point than the front, just a pin tuck. There will be a one centimeter pleat on the back side. It won't make any difference in such a wide garment. Just take one centimeter like this, stitch it in and iron. You can leave it like this, but we need it to hold the neckline on the shoulders. Let's make this tuck 15 centimeters long. Now let's see how our tunic looks until we stitch these side seams. Which we have already marked. It looks like this. There is a pleat on the back to compensate for the seam that we made in the front. This is what the front with the slit looks like. I drew these lines on the wrong side, and this is my mistake. I should have drawn them on the front side.
So I found a wonderful use for my piece of fabric. Now fold it in half again. You can see everything here. It's good to use a thermal marker. Here's our line we're going to baste. The right side is up. The wrong sides are facing each other. We will stitch it on the right side. Well, we'll wait until this garment will be ready, with lace or without. Who knows if we can even find the lace. That's the two lines we need to baste, and that's all. The only problem left is where I'll go out. I've already said here in the studio that if I don't have a chance to go to the beach or a hotel with a swimming pool, I'll at least get out to throw the garbage in this tunic. Anything that makes me feel good. I'm not going to keep this gorgeous tunic hidden in the closet. I basted one side. You can see the line. Here it is. It's the same here. I've got it marked here. There's my stitch. Let's baste it. I took some in for the ease randomly. Make it loose so you can easily wear it over a wet swimming suit, for example. If you baste these two lines tightly to your side, you won't be comfortable. Well, and it's good to make it as a gift. You could give a tunic as a birthday present, even if you don't really know the size of the person. And our one-piece tunic looks like this. I think I'll even be going out, so I'm going to try it on. I'm talking too much. After I tried on this tunic, I realized life is beautiful. A one-piece tunic. There are no shoulder seams. Look how comfortable it is. You can even wear it as a summer dress. It's also quite wearable. Do you see it? I've taken a lot of ease here. See, there's my seam, and here's my hip line. That's enough space from the seam. Well, but it's very comfortable to lie on a sun lounger or to put it on a wet swimming suit. The only thing I'd like to enlarge is the neckline a little bit. I'll make it bigger. I'll cut it two centimeters deeper. I cut off 19 centimeters from the beginning of the fabric, and it's a little small for this kind of thing. I think it's definitely in need of some lace to finish the edge, in soft terracotta, green or red colors like these flowers. Look what happened to the pattern. Here the bouquet was cut off. The vase disappeared on the back. From the beginning of the neck, this tuck took away the leg of the, va of the vase, and it's almost gone. Do you see where the stitching ends? Everything is loose, but it won't open too much when you sit down. This tunic can be shorter if you want. You can wear it over the trousers. Mine is completely long to the knee. 
The one-piece tunic is ready. I think our lesson will help many of you. You can wear it, not just for the beach, but in the house. I think you'll relax in a tunic like this. I think you'll like it. Click the like button and share our videos on social media and subscribe to our channel. And of course, make such tunics for yourself or your friends and relatives. Thank you for watching. Pakshita Irina Mihailovna and the rest of our team. Thank you.